Let's move on now to the final email of the day. And the final email today comes to us from Craig Stranton, who writes, Hey, John, my question is, do you think the legendary monsters or monsterverse will go on after Kong versus Godzilla? And if so, when do you think they will reveal those new movies? All right. Thanks a lot for the question, Craig. And that is a good question, Rob, because it is because we're talking about a movie universe right now where you've had Kong, you've had Godzilla. So you've had Godzilla, then you had Kong. Now you're going to have another Godzilla. Then you're going to have Kong versus Godzilla. And where do you go after that? I, and, and from a narrative point of view, it's fair to at least raise the question and say, well, hey, like now the world just knows the big giant monsters in there. And how many times can can we have humanity going, oh my gosh, there's a giant monster. Like how many times can you do that? And like once you culminate it in Kong versus Godzilla, and we've already got Ghidra coming in the new Godzilla, like we're having some of the best kings of all the monsters stuff. Like, where do you, do you just end it there? Do you just end it after that? Or do you think they've got a bright future moving forward? Hell no, dude. They got to bring in the aliens. My, uh, one of my favorite, one of my favorite Japanese monster movies from the mid sixties is of course, Godzilla versus monster zero or Godzilla versus the Astro monster. And everyone knows the aliens from planet 10, they ask to borrow Godzilla and Rodan because they've got a Ghidra problem. But really, what they want to do is brainwash Godzilla and Rodan and Ghidra, and they send all three of them against the Earth in their bid to take dun, over. Dun, dun. Aliens, dude. They got to have the controller in his cool silver and black outfit and his, his rad little sunglasses. I mean, that's where you go. You, it, it, you bring in the aliens and uh, the Mazer cannons, and I can't wait. I'm a huge kaiju fan. I mean, between Gundam and Godzilla and, and Kong movies, Legendary is killing it on the giant monster robot front. Bring in Jet Jaguar, bring in Megalon. Hell, do uh, the Destroy All Monsters movie. I guess that's what we're kind of getting now. But yeah, man, do I love these movies. And yes, there's always places to go. You got to have the two little girls that come, uh, the, the, the Cosmos, that sing the Mothra song. Mosura. You know, you got to have them. Come on, man. Well, I mean, look, it does... I, I, I think there could be an issue of maybe diminishing returns. Here's here's where I would get worried. And the only way I would get worried about this is that, look, the new Godzilla comes out, it makes the 400 to $500 million range. Acceptable, but not a huge hit. Profitable, but not a monster hit. No pun intended. And then you have Godzilla versus Kong. And that also stays in that neighborhood. Because let, let's face it, the God, Godzilla movie and Kong Skull, Skull Island were not massive blockbusters, right? Now, of course, the trailer for the new Godzilla King of the Monsters, the trailers have been outstanding and yeah. people seem to be getting pumped. But I got a feeling that if both the upcoming movies live in that 400 to 550, 600 million dollar range, I got a feeling Godzilla versus Kong will be it. If they exceed that number, then I can't see why Warner Brothers would stop. I, I, why would you? You've got, you've got no shortage of giant monsters you can throw in there. If people are loving Kong and loving Godzilla, no reason to stop. Keep the good times rolling, as the case may be. So, But I think it all comes down to the box office. Because by, by, by Kong versus Godzilla, you'll now be on your uh, fourth film in this monster universe. You could wrap it up there, but I think the box office is going to determine it, to be honest with you. I really think it's going to be all about how many people go to see it.